Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. So today I'm with the Hyundai i20 N-Line. That's the car sitting right behind me. And special thanks to Krishna Jorhat for allowing me to shoot this video. So the showroom details will be given in the description below. You can also see right now running on the screen. And thing about buying the N-Line is that it's sold only via signature dealership. That I mean signature Hyundai dealership. So Krishna Hyundai Jorhat is one of a signature dealership where you will find premium cars like the Hyundai i20 N-Line and also Tucson SUV. So make an inquiry with the numbers given in the description, book your appointment and you can buy cars like this Hyundai i20 N-Line which is currently available in Jorhat and also the Tucson. So moving forward today I will be showing you in details about the Hyundai i20 N-Line like what are the changes that it has got and how it's different from the standard i20 which also gets 1 liter turbo TGDI engine this also gets 1 liter TGDI engine there are minor mechanical changes mostly the changes are cosmetic so I'll be telling you that while I move forward in the video but before that if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and also press the bell notification icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video to the channel also don't forget to like and share this video with that said let's now get started with the walk around so like always starting with the key fob here are the key fob that you will get with the hyundai i20 obviously we will get two key fobs this is the test drive car so i have only one key fob with me so one side there will be the hyundai logo other side there will be buttons lock and un button unlock button a dedicated button to unlock the tailgate and a alarm button that's it there you will also get a physical key with the key fob which you can use to unlock the car if the battery goes down hopefully that doesn't happen now talking about the i20 n-line itself most of the changes that has been done to the car are visual changes yes mechanical changes has also been done like the suspension has been tuned for better damping for better stability at higher speed the steering has also been retuned there is a dual tip exhaust uh, to make it sound better than the standard i20 but it gets only a single engine option that is the one liter tgdi three cylinder turbo petrol engine and it is available only with imt and dct gearbox and talking about the variants of the hyundai i20 before i move forward and talk about all its details it's available in two variants there is n6 which doesn't get this a uh, nice led projector headlight it comes with halogen headlight and there is the top spec n8 the n6 is available in imt and, and also uh, there is dual tone scheme the n8 is available with both imt and dct there is no proper manual with the hyundai i20 and line hyundai should have given a proper manual because that's when the whole like the fun driving this turbo petrol engine with this uh, tune suspension would have worked i think so that's my opinion uh, but many people prefer to have automatic nowadays so dct is there obviously you can go for that and now moving to the design itself the most visual change or the thing that first that will fall into our eye are those red accents on the front bumper lip there or split up that situation is done little bit of sportiness uh, comes with that there is also red accent on the side skirting there side skirting there rear you will get a diffuser like element if you not diffuser exactly diffuser type element i don't know how much it will be of like uh, it will perform in real life but yeah visually it looks very nice then comes the grill which gets checkered like design there is no 360 degree camera in this car obviously there is the big hyundai logo which looks nice and obviously n-line badging is done here these are the headlights and this is the led drl same to the standard i20 i20 return here uh, this is the top spec n8 uh, so it gets by led projector there is also cornering light function which is obviously halogen the indicator light could have been given led this is also halogen so that's it that's the light you see similar to the standard i20 yes led the whole setup could be made because it's a much more premium car and talking about pricing it will cost you 50 to 60 thousand more than the standard i20 uh, because of the changes that has been done to the car and obviously talking about lighting there is the halogen projector type fog light down under there so same setup like the standard car but the bumper and the whole front fascia of the car has been changed to make it look apart from the standard i20 and i really like the design there is no complaint about that nothing uh, like crazy 
or overly it has been done it looks very nice very subtle design is given checker type flag design and the openings are also large and nice enough so that air goes inside the engine remains cool all the time all these bonnet uh, design counters that you see uh, are similar to the standard i20 then coming to the side profile uh, these wheels are 16 inch alloy wheels machine car dual tone alloy wheels obviously there is n logo here and one of the major mechanical change that has been done to the car is that now it comes with all four wheel disc brake so the braking performance has been improved than before when you consider or compare it with the standard i20 so there front you get with uh, brake calipers the rear calipers are just simple silver die calipers but yeah abs ebd is there but there is no traction control there is hill hole assist esp is there and now talking about the tire size these are 16 inch wheels the international uh, model or the international i20 n line gets 17 inch wheels but 16 inches are given uh, considering uh, indian road condition and i think this works just fine and the tire section is 195 55 r 16 ca tires are given obviously we'll get some other tires and talking about the wheel design i really love how these wheels are designed obviously n logo is given there which really lifts its looks up and yeah obviously n line bezing is also done on the side fenders here the orvm gets blacked out finish piano black finish obviously these are the side indicators in the integrated into the orvm now talking about the side profile this side door doesn't get request sensor only the driver side door gets request button or request sensor and coming to this side again this is the magnetically holding uh, fuel filler cap once the car is unlocked you can open it and it's a very good addition magnetically holding and talking about the fuel capacity 37 liters similar to the normal i20 obviously coming to the rear profile changes has been done to the rear profile also obviously the most prominent change is this dual tip exhaust and it sounds different uh, for like when you are outside then you can hear it while you are inside you don't hear much but yeah it gives you a good feeling that you are driving something different people look what car is this and twin tip exhaust and these are not fake actually these are done really very nicely as you can see here these are not fake i was talking about the diffuser type element here it's their diffuser type element obviously these are only for like cosmetic purpose uh, there is no major aerodynamic efficiency it will not increase something like that yeah obviously reflectors are there there is the reverse parking camera module here and yeah uh, this is the rear tail light design obviously led i20 written here and these are led tail lights but the uh, reverse gear light and the indicator lights are halogen this could also be done led because talking about the pricing it costs 50 to 60 thousand more than the standard car but before going to the inside let me show you how the car actually sounds so take a listen uh, about the exhaust note So that's how the exhaust of the i20 N-Line sounds. Now, few more changes that has gone into the rear profile are these diffuser elements down under there. No, it doesn't help in any aerodynamic efficiency or such things. These are just for cosmetic uh, appearance. And yeah, it does look good with all these diffuser elements. The normal i20 also get all those sorts of stuff. Uh, but again, talking about the N-Line itself, there are twin uh, reflectors down under there there are twin parking sensors on the bumper the front bumper doesn't get any parking sensors even though it's a much more premium car over the standard i20 then there is the reverse parking camera module as i've already told you and it also gets adaptive guidelines then here is the end line badging here is the i20 badging uh, middle here is the large hyundai badging and yeah the chrome strip runs across the whole tailgate of the car connecting both the led tail lights uh, this is the high stop mount brake light the spoiler unit has been added these things are also added for increasing the <laughs> aerodynamic efficiency no just joking these are all just for cosmetic appearance and it does look good again then there is the shark fin antenna and yeah obviously those are the changes now talking about the boot space of the i20 n line there is a request button there to open it this is the uh, parcel self so lift it up and to this side 
there is the Bose subwoofer as you can see and yeah the boot space is decent enough the loading lip is deep and talking about the boot space it's around 311 liters same just like the normal i20 and down under here is the square wheel this is a steel wheel and no this is not a full size square wheel the tire section is 185-65 r15 and the car comes with obviously 16 inch alloy wheels now closing the boot space and going to the side profile of the car again i have shown you everything all these such things like the magnetically holding fuel filler cap 37 liters obviously then let's go to the interior and show you more and before going into the interior this is how the doors will look like and the interior will you will see all black interior in every single like variant of the n line of, of course available in two variants as i've already told you n6 and n8 this is the n8 and this is the dual tone model and obviously it's written here one liter top dct dual tone and yeah talking about the doors now there you see the red accent on the door handle area here decent size one liter bottle holder is there again both sound system uh, or both here it's written door mounted speakers are there there is also a subwoofer on the boot as i've already told you uh, the window sections are large enough the door handle to open the door handle that the satin chrome type finish has been given this certainly looks good but these are all hard plastic situation no soft touch material is given could have been given on the uh, area here on the door handle area here because it's a much more premium over the normal i20 but again moving to the or talking about the center uh, or the rear seat sorry talking about the rear seat again checkered flag type design is given obviously these are artificial leather but and it feels really nice to touch and yeah, isofix style seat mounts are written on the both side of the uh, rear seats adjustable headrest for both the side passengers the middle passenger doesn't get any head so there is no adjustable headrest here is the center armrest with no cup holders obviously and this seat doesn't get 60 40 split type seat this is a bench type seat and here there are two cloth like thing which you can pull and that will increase the seat space by pulling the whole bench down and obviously this is given cloth type material because to increase the performance of the car to reduce it and then again uh, going in and out of the car is not that bad it's good enough uh, of this size and it, uh, dimensionally it is similar to the normal i20 but overall uh, from the elite i20 the new i20 the dimension has been increased so one thing as i've already mentioned is that the head space or the headroom of the car to for the rear seat the roof line has been scooped out i uh, hope the camera is covering here you can see the roof line has been scooped out and this portion here is for the mechanism of the sun roof there the roof line has been scooped out for uh, better headroom and as you can see if i turn the camera towards myself you can see lots of headroom is there for me my height is around 5 4 so for me it's good and even for 5 9 or 6 footers they can adjust in these rear seats and obviously nice adjustable headrest are also there then talking about the under thigh support the under thigh support is really very good for me but there is no scooped out front seats there is magazine holder here even then you can see lots of knee room lots of leg room for me the seat uh, the front seat has been uh, like set for a person around five six five seven so normal uh, size person and again there are twin uh, ac vents on the for the rear passengers and again red accents done on the ac vents there is a usb socket down under there which is a very good addition instead of 12 volt usb should be given there is a small pocket here for putting your smartphone as such thing so overall uh, really very good for the back and due to this scooped out roof line the headroom is better than many other premium hatchbacks like new baroti suzuki balina because the roof on in those uh, hatchbacks they slant towards the back so the headroom uh, becomes for the rear passenger the headroom becomes really very congested so again not talking much the best thing about this car is that seat the driver side seat so let's move there and talk a little bit about its front interior and yeah before entering i want to show you one more thing the request sensor is only on the driver side door not on the 
uh, four driver side door so let's enter but before entering again hard plastic all over there are no uh, soft touch material even on the driver side door decent one liter pocket for our bottle holder is given my pocket is also there and yeah uh, this driver side window also get one touch auto up and down both one touch auto up and down uh, driver side window which is really very good again the door handle situation is also done like the rear same situation is there but very hard plastic all hard plastic very black color if you are into black color then it's good enough if you are not much into black color then there is no other option the interior is only available with black and red accents and yeah talking about red accents red stitching is done on the rear seat also on the front seat also these are very nicely done red piping is given checkered flag type design is here there is n logo embossed into both the front seats and only on the seats not on the headdress but it's there then the driver side uh, seat is actually eight way adjustable manually adjustable obviously but it's there so height adjustability is also there even if you are a shorter person a, your reach will be very good and the staying also gets tilt and telescopic adjustment which i will show in a bit but before moving inside i want to show the pedal situation here so nice metal pedals are given this is obviously the top spec the city car there you can see the gear lever so brake pedal accelerator is there and nice uh, metal pedal is given even on the imt version there will be two uh, pedals brake and accelerator pedal because the imt means intelligent manual transmission or classless transmission then there is a nice that pedal situation there so really very nice and obviously red accents on the ac vents again this is the start stop button this is the camera this is the esp which you can turn and turn on and off while driving now let's move inside and turn on the uh, cooler actually because it's really very hot outside and yeah so let me adjust a bit and yeah fine enough so this is the new steering wheel of the i20 and line let me put my seat a little bit back so that i can show you very nicely about the steering wheel and all those sorts of stuff so really very nicely leather wrap nice stitching is done obviously hyundai logo in the center there is a n logo here three spoke of steering wheel there are nice pedal shifters here which really gives nice uh, feedback while like very clicky feeling so you, it's very satisfying to upshift and downshift the car with the help of this pedal shifter and this only works when you put the uh, car into sport mode or manual mode uh, so i'll be coming to that later while i drive and yeah the uh, headlight stocks are also really very nicely placed automatic headlight function is there there is the uh, washer wiper stock so these are very nicely reachable from the steering wheel and of course the steering also gets tilt and telescopic adjustment so there is the telescopic adjustment so there is the telescopic adjustment then there is the tilt adjustment so tilt and telescopic adjustability is there with the steering wheel then again there is the instrument cluster uh, the graphics is done similar kind of like graphics is there with the uh, normal i20 when you compare it uh, and to go through the different various menus or in the center mid you have to press the button here so it will say uh, like uh, total average and uh, tire pressure monitoring system is also there in this car and various sorts of information like distance to empty all those sorts of things like normal things you have seen it's there to the left side there is the uh, digital uh, tachometer to the right side there is the uh, digital speedometer so very simple very readable but there is no heads up display just uh, given just like on the uh, newer balino headless up display could have been given because this car will cost you 50 to 60 thousand more than the normal uh, i20 uh, top spec i20 and yeah everything else very hard plastic so this uh, fake ac vents type situation is done and yeah uh, red accents to there and this car also gets high adjustable seat belts for both the uh, pas uh, passenger and driver so both the driver and passenger get height adjustable seat belts and obviously this top spec n8 model also gets uh, six airbags with side curtain type airbags as you can see here there is side curtain type airbags for both the driver and co-passenger or co-driver 
so this is the uh, 10.25 inch touch screen with blue link connectivity and yeah the blue link with the help of voice command you can actually uh, roll up and down the window you can turn off the ac turn on the ac you can also remotely start the car so something like that it's there and yeah obviously now talking about other thing there is the glove box uh, it also gets cooling function but there is no soft touch material anywhere and it uh, doesn't feel very much premium only the red accents are there there is also red ambient lighting which i don't think is visible right now but yeah you can see on the pedal little bit of red ambient lighting is seen and it the red ambient lighting is specific to the n-line models and obviously moving forward and talking about the 10.25 inch inch screen here i'll uh, give you a demo about opening the sunroof so there is the sunroof the sunset is manual so you have to pull it by yourself and again hello blue link open sunroof opening the sunroof so like that the blue link actually works and again if i give the voice command the sunroof will be closed hello blue link close sunroof closing the sunroof okay auntie so that's how it actually works it works very seamlessly the voice uh, like recognition is also good enough then down under here there is the ac control there are the ac vents here again uh, red accents are done here the ac control switches are also really very nice uh, this feels really uh, very tactile to uh, touch and use them and obviously there is a small lcd screen here auto ac function no dual zone function is not there and everything is very reachable from the driver uh, area like just like the normal i20 then down under there there is the 12 volt socket then there are two usb ports one for charging your uh, phone or devices and one for like connecting your phone to the system here for like uh, connecting to android auto apple carplay i forgot to mention this system gets android auto apple carplay then again down under there there is the wireless charging so once i put my phone there so it will start the wireless charging seamlessly so if your phone has wireless charging you can charge your phone very nicely by putting it there then coming here there is the gear lever really very nicely leather wrap and logo is done here and yeah obviously it's parking it's in parking right now and it gets uh, sport mode or manual mode and putting after putting the car into sports mode you can use the pedal shifters to up shift and down shift that i will show you while i drive the car then again uh, here are twin cup holders one is small one is big and the air purifier has been removed from here that's a very welcome move it should be removed it takes up one of the cup holder and it becomes really very useless then coming here there is the uh, center armrest for both the front passengers and driver and you can also slide this like that and to open it just lift it up and there is a large center storage space area here which is really very nice then talking about other things the headroom and all those sorts of things are similar to the normal i20 uh, it's really very good uh, lots of space is there for both the co-driver and driver obviously under thigh support and lumbar support all those sorts of things for the front passengers are really very good these seats are really very nice uh, sporty bucket seats so uh, it's nice nothing much more to complain now talking about the screen and about the both sound system here let me connect my phone and then i will show you how the system actually sounds so here how the both sound system actually sounds take a listen
well that's how it sounds and i think it's really very fantastic uh, in this price segment it's a very good system that has been given to a small hatchback like uh, the i20 and obviously this is the premium car the normal i20 also gives both sound system on the top spec car so that's everything on the interior let's now move to the outside and so and talk a little bit about the one liter turbo gdi engine so now this here is the engine bay of the Hyundai i20 N-Line. There is no insulation on the bonnet itself because this is a very smooth engine. Yeah, it is a three-cylinder engine but there is no like three-cylinder rumble or vibration. Uh, and of course it's a Hyundai engine so it's really very smooth. And obviously this is the turbo GDI. GDI means gasoline direct injection or petrol direct injection, same thing. And yeah, this is the three-cylinder unit, turbocharged obviously and it makes in the hyundai i20 n line makes 120 horsepower 172 newton meters of torque of course this is the same engine that has been carried forward from the normal i20 which comes with one liter tgd or turbo gdi engine so nothing much more change has been done but the full blown i20 n not the n line full blown i20 n comes with a 1.6 liter four cylinder uh, tgdi engine that makes around 204 horsepower and 200 54 newton meters of torque that is like a very powerful engine and of course if that is launched in india it will cost around 25 to 30 lakhs and i20 costing that much <laughs> you will get a big suv uh, that's what people will think here so it own sale so this is the next best thing that you can buy and of course it competes with cars like uh, volkswagen polo uh, and yeah something like that polo gt actually with the one liter engine but now that volkswagen has uh, discontinued the polo gt uh, this is the be next best thing to buy in market currently with all those tuned up suspension with the turbo petrol engine but my only complaint is that this engine uh, comes metered with only imt gearbox and dct gearbox a proper manual gearbox should have been given with it then it would have been great uh, because I've already driven the car, I know how it handles and my god the handling is really very good. The steering response is superb. At this price segment, don't take me wrong, at this price segment what I'm talking, it's superb. Yeah, it's not that dynamic like the Polo, but this is the next best thing. Again, I'm saying this is the next best thing to buy currently right now. Since the Polo like will be discontinued or has been discontinued by VW, I don't know how the uh, or the new Polo will be introduced or not in India because that car like is much more bigger than this and that is like in length over 4 meters so uh, the pricing will also increase so I don't think Volkswagen will introduce the newer model and again talking everything uh, this is the sole engine that is available with the i20 N line and my request to Hyundai is that with the facelift please bring a proper manual gearbox with this engine for the N line I am not talking about the normal i20 but for the N line there must be a proper manual gearbox with this engine now talking more about the engine bay there is insulation on the firewall there is no insulation on the bonnet as I've already told you then yeah ABS if the motor is there no hybrid assist nothing uh, this particular model as I've already told you is the top spec car with the DCT gearbox the DCT gearbox has not been tuned for n line specific this is the normal gearbox that we find with the normal i20 and yeah this is not very lightning fast but it's obviously a dct gearbox so it's fast enough but not very lightning fast you don't have to expect very much the car like uh, picks up speed nicely very decent way very linear acceleration is there uh, obviously considering a three cylinder engine it's a very powerful unit 998 cc only even then it's not that dynamic like the polo is uh, that i have to honestly say but currently this is the next best thing you can buy so that was everything about the exterior interior about its engine detail of the i20 n line let's now go for the drive impression but before that if you are watching the video till now please make sure you subscribe to the video and also press the bell notification icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video to this channel also don't forget to like and share so let's now go for the drive impression so right now i am driving the hyundai i20 n-line and let's talk about its mechanical changes again so this is the top spec n8 with the dct gearbox here you can see the dct gearbox or the gear lever sorry uh, so the mechanical changes includes uh, four wheel disc brake the suspension has been retuned due to which 
actually the suspension has been stiffened up but that actually improved the damping than the normal i20 yes you can feel little bit of bump but the way it comes out of the uh, potholes and all those bad patches like it has been much uh, the damping has been improved much better yeah it's not just as cushy as like you find in other hatchbacks or even the i20 obviously the normal i20 suspension were, were stiffer compared to other premium hatchback but this has been stiffened much more than that but even then the ride quality is actually improved compared to the normal i20 now talking about the steering response my god there is lots of improvement that has been done to the steering now the feedback you can really feel it it feels really very smooth very awesome and yeah uh, just push over these bad pads then the envious levels are also really very nicely maintained and let's just put into the sport mode and then now i am using the pedal shifter and obviously with that you can increase the gear shifts like this so this is a six speed sorry seven speed dct with imt you will get uh, six speed and obviously you reach uh, 80 kilometers per hour like that and let's push to the seventh speed uh, yeah gear changes are fast but not very fast not lightning fast but yeah it's fast don't take me wrong but it's fast not that fast but it's really very good the uh, gearbox has not been like uh, updated from the normal i20 you get still the same dct gearbox that you get with the one liter engine and obviously the with the tire size being kept 16 inch it's because of the way the indian roads are so that actually helps in like uh, absorbing the bumps and all those sorts of things so the body roll is really very nicely contained it's very nice very well maintained the body roll is well maintained and talking about other mechanical change that is the exhaust note you cannot hear the exhaust note once the uh, windows are up and as a result the exhaust note is only hard once the windows are down and it doesn't actually improves your driving experience <laughs> while you are driving but yeah it's uh, good to have that because outside you know, other people can hear that and let's go into some top gear so gear shifts are good uh, fast enough but not that very lightning fast it's decent when put into sports mode the damping is done very nicely and overall the drive quality is really very good the steering really weights up very nicely so what was that lady doing in between that in middle of the road i don't know what she was doing so yeah now let's take a u-turn actually Will it go from here? It should go. So obviously due to the 16 inch wheels, it's I think it's done uh, good because 16 inch wheels has been given. It really helps in absorbing the bumps very nicely. The international model actually gets 17 inch wheels. The reason that the 17 inch wheel is not been given to this end line, the India specific end line, is that because of our road condition with the 17 inch wheel, the tire profile will decrease and then you will feel more bumps. So, talking about everything else the average fuel economy right now is showing really very less because i have been pushing the card a bit hard and obviously it's not showing very great but once you like cruise it in a very normal way like uh, go in 60 70 80 90 kilometers per hour like you increase the speed uh, slowly then the fuel economy in uh, is really very good around uh, 17 to 18 with the dct gearbox it shows and obviously uh, in highways uh, but in city it will be like around 12 to 13 but with the imt it will be much more than that 18 to 19 obviously a little bit more will be shown and one more thing that i want to talk about the i20 end line and obviously of course the normal i20 also the thing is that if you want to go for the i20 with the turbo GDI engine then pay a little bit more like 50 to 60 thousand extra then go for this one you will really love how it drives 
बिकॉज मजा आने वाला है आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट एंड या यू आर नॉट वेस्टिंग योर मनी और लाइक थ्रोइंग इट अवे यू रियली गेट सम गुड थिंग्स एंड ह्यूडा हैज रियली डन गुड थिंग इन टू दिस आई ट्वेंटी एन लाइन द सस्पेंसन वर्क दैट दे हैव डन द स्टेरिंग वर्क इट रियली लाइक फील्स गुड टू ड्राइव दिस कार एंड ट्रस्ट मी विथ दि सस्पेंसन बींग स्टीफेन अप द राइट क्वालिटी हेज एक्चुअली इम्प्रूव दैन दि नॉर्मल आई ट्वेंटी और दि स्टैंडार्ड आई ट्वेंटी यू विल भी हैप्पी वाइल ड्राइविंग एंड ऑबियसली दिस इज ए लिटिल विथ एंथोजियस्टिक कार सो इट विल भी मच मोर वैल्यू फॉर मनी आई थिंक ऑबियसली द आई ट्वेंटी इज स्टील लाइक प्राइज ए बीट हाई लाइक इट्स मच मोर प्रीमियम दैन अदार प्रीमियम हेजबैक्स बट दैट डजेंट मेक्स इट ए वेरी बेड कार बिकज लट्स अफ थिंगस आर गिवेन इन दिस कार एक्चुअली एंड यू कैन सी इन ऑटो मोड यू फील द रबर बैंड इफेक्ट बट वांस यू पुट इन टू स्पोर्ट मोड एंड यू इफ यू आर इन ए वेरी गुड कमांड दैन ओवर द गियर बॉक्स एंड यू सीफ नाइसली दैन इट्स रियली वेरी गुड सो दैट वॉज एवरीथिंग अबाउट द ड्राइव इम्प्रेशन of the Hyundai i20 n line then let's put the car into showroom again and give my verdict about the car so i am back after driving the i20 n line and first of all i want to say that the drive performance was really very awesome like in recent time this is one of the best car that i have driven in terms of ride quality handling every sort of thing now before talking or appreciating much i want to say few things that i don't like first first of all the pricing it will obviously cost you 50 to 60000 extra over the standard i20 and the normal i20 itself cost more when considering its rivals like balino dark eltros i20 is uh, priced much more premium so hyundai could have uh, like uh, decrease the price of the original i20 and then decrease the price of this but yeah uh, i don't know how they will do that that's only upon them that's what i feel they should have done it uh, like little bit of price cutting should be done then the next complaint that i have about the i20 is that uh, there is no proper manual with this car like the way it handles way it drives the way the steering response is a proper manual would have been much more better to drive this car yeah obviously the dct gearbox is really very good there is imt but it's only available in imt and dct i think with the facelift uh, hyundai should introduce a proper manual transmission with the nline if they don't want to introduce with the normal i20 with the 1 liter turbo gd engine then i think they must include it in the uh, nline to make it more stand apart from the standard i20 other than that everything is awesome the drive quality is really very awesome the steering feedback is phenomenal at this price segment don't get me wrong the braking performance has been improved than the standard identity because now it gets uh, four wheel disc brake and yeah there is no traction control the traction control could have been given considering the price i hope with the facelift they will give that everything else is very practical the fuel economy is normal to the or exactly same like the normal i20 like the 1 liter engine because the gearbox the dct or the imt gearbox is similar to the normal i20 and talking about the i20 itself if you want to go for the 1 liter turbo gd engine with the imt or dct then go for the n line and pay a little bit extra the changes that hyundai has done like mechanically those are worth it worth those 50 or 60000 more and in long term you will like love to drive this car more than the normal <coughs> car because the way the suspension is tuned way it handles way the right quality is it's much more better than the normal i20 and yeah so talking more in details uh, this is the only car that you will get in this price segment like the way it drives it's little bit enthusiastic considering its exhaust note and all those sorts of stuff as i have already told you with the windows up you cannot hear the exhaust note and it's not very dynamic like the polo used to be and now uh, obviously folks again has discontinued the polo the new or the global polo i don't know if it will be launched or not but this is the next best thing to the polo that you can uh, buy now in india so my verdict mostly is positive for this car obviously a manual would make it a much better a proper manual you cannot take away the clutch feel so my request to hyundai is that 
whatever you do next time with the facelift just bring a manual with the end line so that was everything about the hyundai i20 walk around and drive impression every sort of details that i think you should need to know before going for the car and before ending like always if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified every single time i upload a new video and also don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family with that said that's it for today bye